The third parachain auction on Kusama has ended and we have a winner. Today we're going to check out the Shiden network. I'll explain what Shiden is, why it's useful and what the story is behind the Shiden token, so let's do it! Let's first talk a little bit about the parachain auctions on Kusama. As I've said before in this video, Kusama has now ended the third parachain auction on Kusama. So now the auction number four is going to start or has already started actually as I'm speaking right now. So auction number three started on June 29th and it ended on July 6th. And the slot duration is from July 6th all the way up to May 13th of 2022. If we go to the details of the third parachain auction, we can see that it has just ended a few hours ago. And of course, the winner, or at least the highest bid, was Shiden. They had 138,458 Kusama fund raised, which if you translate that to US dollars, well, one Kusama is about $206 per Kusama right now. So in total, that amount of fundraised money, amount of fundraised capital is about $28.5 million. We can see that the number two and the number three were pretty close together with regards to the amount of Kusama raised for this parachain auction. Both had around 50,000. Oh, you can actually see the dollar amounts. That's pretty neat. I didn't even know that. So uh, yeah, you can see that Kala and Bifrost are actually in the number two and the number three. And these are likely to win the next parachain auctions, probably auction number four and auction number five, if I had to guess. So before we start talking about Shiden, let's very briefly do a recap of what Kusama is exactly. As we have said in previous videos about Kusama, Kusama is like the sister network of Polkadot. Polkadot is the main network, if you will, and Kusama is more or less the test network for Polkadot. But it's actually a little bit more real because Kusama does work in the real world under real economic conditions. Now, most projects that in the end want to be on Polkadot as well, when they are going to start with their parachain auctions, these projects want to start their sister network on Kusama. Okay, so Kusama is the network they can basically test their code on. Now, this same thing is happening with Shiden, which we're going to talk about in this video, and their main network, which right now is called Astar. And a very brief side note over here, because a star was previously known as Plasm, but there was a lot of confusion with other projects out there that had a very similar name, Plasma, for example. And Sota Watanabe, who is the CEO of Shiden and a star, had to explain the name very often to people because there was a lot of confusion between Plasma and Plasm, and that was a little bit difficult. So they now changed the name to a star. And also a little other side note is that the pronunciation of Shiden <laughs> remains a little bit unclear. Uh, some people say Shaden. I heard someone at Shaden or uh, or a star say Shaden, but there are also some people who say Shaden. And well, I believe the correct pronunciation is Shaden, so I'm just going to stick with that. But again, if you think it's different, let me know in the comments. So back to Shiden and a star. Well, Shiden is going to be the sister network of a star. They basically have the same code, but as I've said before, uh, a star is going to first test the code in the Shiden environment on Kusama, and then later on they're going to be using that same code actually on a star in the a star environment on Polkadot later on when they are going to start with their parachain auctions. But what is Shiden exactly? Well, if you go to the website, you can see the following words that Shiden is a multi-chain dApp hub on Kusama. Sounds a little bit difficult. We're just going to unpack that a little bit. So the word Kusama we now know because Kusama is the sister network of Polkadot. So that is the very first thing to know. But it's also multi-chain. What does that mean exactly? Well, I think that this image is going to help you with that. Because as I've said, Polkadot is basically the main network that is going to be the main network. And on top of that, they are going to build a star. Now for this video, of course, of course we are talking about Shiden, which is going to be launching on Kusama. So if you want, you can basically replace Polkadot with Kusama and you can replace a star with Shiden. So Shiden is between Polkadot and some other layer one blockchains. Basically, you can connect other layer one blockchains like Ethereum, like Cosmos, like uh, the secret network, like other blockchains in the end in the future. And you can connect those layer one blockchains to a star or in this case, Shiden. And then you can also connect Shiden and a star to Polkadot and Kusama. Hope that makes sense. So in the end, all these layer one blockchains can be connected to Polkadot and to Kusama using a star and using Shiden. And what this ultimately leads to is that we are going to create bridges between all of these layer one blockchains. And this is going to create a little bit more interoperability between these blockchains and also more scalability on Polkadot and on Kusama. 
So back to the definition of sheet, and because we now know what Kusama is, we now know what multi-chain means, but what is a DAP exactly? A decentralized application DAP. Well, a decentralized application is simply an application that is being built on decentralized systems, on blockchain systems. There are developers out there that can make these dApps, that can make these decentralized applications, and these developers use smart contracts to create these dApps. Now, the thing is, Polkadot and Kusama, they don't support contracts, smart contracts natively. So that is what Astar and that is what Sheedan is going to do. These are going to create the functionality of smart contracts so that developers can make dApps, decentralized applications on Kusama and on Polkadot. Now, if you've seen my previous video about Kusama parachain auctions, you might have heard about Moon River. And Moon River is actually quite similar to Sheedan right now, because Moon River is also used to make that bridge between Kusama and Ethereum. But again, Moon River is mainly focused on Ethereum, but Sheedan is also focused on other layer one blockchains. And apart from that, we can also say that Sheedan has multiple additional features compared to Moon River. And just a little side note over here, because I was listening to an interview with Martin Henskins. He is the infrastructure developer at Sheedon and Astar. And he says that they are definitely collaborating with other parachains out there, for example, Moon River as well. And I think this is very nice to see because I believe that is what the whole Polkadot and Kusama ecosystem is about. The collaboration between parachains, between blockchains, the interoperability and also scalability. Now I mentioned that Sheedon and Astar have additional features compared to Moonbeam and Moon River. And I'm just going to mention two here which I believe to be the most interesting ones for sure. The first one is the DAP rewards system, because the thing is developers can build DAPs, can build decentralized applications on Sheedon and Astar, and then the community can nominate the DAPs that they actually like. It's almost like voting on a project. Now the rewards that are generated by creating blocks on the Sheedon blockchain and later on the Astar blockchain, these are split among the people. 50% of the rewards go to the validators who are going to validate the network. 40% goes to the operators of these dApps, of these decentralized applications. And 10% goes to the nominators of these dApps, of these decentralized applications. So that basically means that they are going to create a basic income for the developers or actually of the operators of these dApps. And I'm saying actually operators instead of developers, because the thing is, the developers at first are usually the operators as well. But what if you want to sell your dApp? What if you've created an awesome dApp and a lot of people love it, but you don't really want to use it anymore? You don't really want to operate your dApp anymore. So what if you want to sell your dApp to other people? Well, this is where operator trading comes into play. And this is actually available on Sheedon and also on Astar later on. So what you can do is you can trade your dApp, your decentralized application in the Sheedon marketplace. So so this is a way where the buyer also is going to get the rights to receive the DAP rewards. So everyone who buys your decentralized application, they are also going to receive the DAP rewards. So what about the Sheedon token exactly? Well, let's talk a little bit about that. According to this presentation from Astar and from uh, Sheedon, of course, there is going to be a supply of 70 million tokens of Sheedon, more or less, and more than half of that amount of uh, tokens is going to be in the hands of the community. About 52% after the first parachain lease offering is going to be in the hands of the uh, people of the community. And a portion of that 52%, 22% to be exact, that is going to be used for the first parachain lease offering. And then 8% is going to be used for the second PLO. Apart from that, as we can see in this presentation, the token is going to have a inflation of about 10% per year. And the token is also going to be used to maintain and operate the Sheeda network. So it's going to be used for staking and also for rewarding operators of these dApps, of these decentralized applications. And the token is also going to be used to pay for transaction fees on the Sheedan blockchain. So that is an overview of Sheedon, which is going to launch on Kusama and which is also a sister network of Astar, which hopefully is going to launch on Polkadot. Now, I believe that Sheedon and Astar are going to be very important for Kusama and also for Polkadot to improve the interoperability and the scalability of these two networks. Now, as always, I'm looking very much forward to your opinion as well. Do you believe a lot in Sheedon and Astar or do you believe more in Moonbeam and Moon River? Let me know in the comments. And with that being said, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.